Hello, Sagittarius. We have a situation here that's giving you pause when it's time to pursue. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Sagittarius tarot reading. It is a general reading for May 9th through the 15th. Let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you guys for next week. Okay. Oh, this just came out for Scorpio. Silver Siren, number 37. As I said to Scorpio, there has been one other time this card came up and it could have been either for Scorpio or Gemini if my memory is serving me any kind of correct right now. There's a time when there was one time when the silver siren was the voice within. Otherwise, it shows up as someone in your sphere. Okay. It says, when is an enchantment not enchanting? When it is a spell that you allow to consume your free will, even as it promises so much and yet delivers so little. The silver siren sings her song, a pretty poison to the soul. Her false allure tempts the mind, even whilst the heart feels that something is not quite right. Your power will come from discerning the truth and allowing her false promises no place in your heart. Okay. This is about... Again, this usually shows up as a person in your sphere. That, but this is about um, not compromising your integrity. Okay. But it feels like this person has been in your circle for a while, for those of you where this is an actual person. Okay. Let's see... What energy is going to complement this silver siren? If it's, the, if it's the same one as Scorpio, I'm going to bust up laughing. So if you have Scorpio in your chart or your person does, you might want to check out that video. Okay. Because it definitely was someone. Okay. Mm. Don't let your past hold you back. Silver Siren could be an X. Let's see, where do we want to start? Here, okay. What is the Silver Siren situation with Sagittarius? Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> hmm. Ace of Swords. Someone choosing a direction. That is different from the past. Okay. Interesting. And bravo. Whoever that's for. Strength card underneath. Card of Leo. Four of Swords. Hanged Man. Ace of Swords did come out after all. Queen of Wands. There you are. Seven of Wands. Five of Wands. Two of Swords. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Hmm. Looks like someone had the courage to end a third party situation. That's the short version of it. Someone is cutting out a burdensome connection. Okay. Hmm. In Scorpio's reading, it, it did end up being three people on the board, but so far I'm seeing two. 
and you're showing up strong. There's a new perspective that you have here, though. I'm getting that this Four of Swords is about healing. There's an undertone of a pause. Okay. This could be the third person, okay. We're gonna clarify to be sure. Because it feels like here that you have to fight your way out of a relationship. It and it could be it could be twofold. Fighting out of one and fighting for another one. Interesting. Okay. There's a truth here that someone's trying to block. Not once, but twice. So, this, this, this is the plot thickens. Let's, let's get into this. Four of Swords, let's expand on this situation, please. Page of Pentacles. King of Wands, wow. Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Four of Coins, Three of Wands, Emperor, woof. Okay. So the person you desire is wonderfully and solidly single. Okay. One more for the Four of Pentacles, please. Yeah, this is... See, the don't let your past hold you back. Spying on your Empress. <laughs> Hierophant on the bottom. Blowing up one commitment, one toxic thing with a Queen of Cups going toward a new commitment, potentially, with a Taurus. Card of Taurus and Libra, card of Aries. Okay. On the board, Taurus, Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. So the one thing that seems to be, so it, so it, is, it is a pause. There, there's, a pa, there's a tandem situation here happening. There is a pause before healing. You've got three out of the four fours, actually, so stability is inbound here surprisingly <sighs> there is a gift you wish to present this king of wands the person you view as your ultimate counterpart king of wands queen of wands emperor empress okay you are spying on this person okay there's a realization here of what this person actually is there's a bit of a soulmate return twin flame sort of vibe coming on here um the one thing that's holding you back is getting caught up in the spying. So it's leaving you in this kind of pause mode when it looks like they're actually expecting you to hustle in. Okay. Let's, let's expand on the hangman, please. Where's, where's this enlightenment or is this stagnancy? Two of wands, six of wands. Knight of cups. Making the choice to move forward. Choice point. Okay. Queen of Wands. What do we got? Bringing in the love here. There's This is a sign of victory. The Fool. Seven of Swords. Hermit. Card of Virgo. Nine of Wands. Ace of Wands making the Ten of Wands. You walking away from another thing again. There it is. It took. It got bad. You might not have realized just how toxic it was. Okay, but it it, it was. Okay. <laughs> you you may have gotten used to how it was. That doesn't mean it was normal. So Hermit card of Virgo here. You may be keeping it on the hush-hush that you are moving toward this person and beginning 
something new, taking a new risk with them. There is going to be, because now you have the hangman and the hermit, there's, there's some clear realizations here. <sighs> You're tired because of the cycle with this other person, with this other person. Okay, with this Queen of Cups. But this Ace of Wands is inspiring you. This this chance, this spark here, this spark here, okay? To finish the toxic thing and to start anew. It's like, this is like the scales tipping right here. Okay, so Five of Wands. Let's expand on the Five of Wands, please. Ten of Cups, Death, Scorpio Energy, King of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is finishing this thing out. Yeah. Okay. This could have ended once before. If it was a third party, it could have ended once before. With the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords here, this is someone someone walked away from their Ten of Cups. It's like, this This is your side, Sag. It's like, it's like you... Perhaps you thought this was your Ten of Cups. That's That was the underlying for the Scorpio reading. And that, that is Scorpio's card there with death there. Okay. This was supposed to be the win. Hmm. Let's expand on their side and see where we go. All right, let's start with the Ace of Swords, please. Knight of Swords, Sun, more Leo energy, Four of Wands, Three of Swords, Strength card of Leo again, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. So this is a resilient empress slash king of wands. Okay, because they knew they they knew what the connection was with you. Okay, and it took them courage to essentially wait it out for you to learn the lessons you needed to learn, so then you can see each other clearly and begin together. Okay. And it looks like they race towards their happiness and they hit a wall. Three of swords. Like if they came on the scene and you already were with someone, that could have been the brick wall they ran right into. After meeting you. Then finding out you had somebody. Then this is like the mental conversation of, okay, do... It's clearly that's a karmic situation. Do I wait it out? Hmm. Seven of Wands. Let's expand on the Seven of Wands, please. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Yeah, missed opportunity. Big on the missed opportunity. So it looks like on their end of the connection, the... Love turned toxic. They had to push. They had to push this away. They had to be. They had to resolve themselves to losing it. 
Okay. And that, that really hurt. That really hurt. Okay. It's almost like they took a knee and ran out the clock for those of you who understand football. Um, they, it's like they conceded because you kept choosing the same situation over and over. Okay. Two of swords. Let's expand on the two of swords. Temperance card of that's your card. Two of Wands. Nine of Wands, Page of Cups. Looks like you're rushing in with an apology. And letting this person know that you're done with the other connection. And you're done juggling. Hmm. I need to know more about this silver siren, please. Is it a person or is it mental? Is a silver siren a person or mental chatter? Let's confirm while we're here. It's a person. That's you though. Yeah, it's, it's your head. It's in your head. Five of Swords, Four of Cups. Now you're trying to manifest it back. That new beginning. Because you lost it. You're, the truth is you realize you lost. You lost your happiness. Okay. So the Silver Siren is in your head. Anything that's delusional, negative, self-talk, ego, BS... That's her. Okay. Hmm. What other questions before going on to the extended? Uh, what's the result of the four swords here? As in pause or healing or momentum? Watching, deciding, moving toward healing. Could literally also be healing their money. Or you could also be healing your money. There's a different perspective on love partnership that's coming out of this. Okay. But something is definitely over in the process. Okay. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I want to see what's going on with your empress slash king of wands. This is very big, big time on the twin flame vibe. Um, I'm going to see what's going on with your empress right now. I'm going to see what's going on with her in the near future as well as, well as the final outcome of this connection in this lifetime. So, if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, uh, messages from her about this connection at this point in time, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Mm -hmm.